boys and girls, and welcome to Kids Camp Creation Crafts. We're so glad you're joining us today. Are you ready for some craft fun? We are. I'm your host, Miss Susie. And I'm Mr. Ryan. I'm so glad that you've joined us. And we have some helpers here in our studio, the Purple People. Are you guys ready to make some crafts? Yeah! Wow, you guys are really excited. You guys might need a little help, maybe a little refereeing. Let's bring on our referees. Thanks, ladies, for helping us. We have some helpers with these crazy kids here. Uh, when we're doing crafts, sometimes you need lots of help. We've got some fun things out here. What are we going to make today, All right, Susie? today we are going to make some cute, fuzzy caterpillars. And on this show, we like to connect scripture and a craft. Mr. Ryan, what is our Bible verse for today? Our Bible verse today comes from 2 Corinthians uh, 5, verse 17. And it says, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he or she is a new creation and old things have passed away and behold, all things have become new. So the key thought for today is new creation. And we thought, what kind of thing represents a new creation? Nothing better than a caterpillar. So we're going to make these little caterpillars and Miss Susie is going to lead us in a turn by turn, direction by direction, cut by cut. Take it away, That's Miss Susie. Right. Are we ready for some crafting, kids? Yeah! All right. We definitely have some wow. enthusiasm for some caterpillars, don't we? That's exciting. All right. Well, boys and girls, today we will be using hot glue guns. How many of you here on the set have used hot glue guns before? All right, okay, most, okay. most of them have. All right, well first we want to go over a little bit of safety. When we do hot glue guns, they are hot, so you need to be careful. You don't want to touch the tip or the glue as it comes out because it will be quite hot and you don't want to get burned. Okay, so for our first step in making our caterpillars, we are going to take our hot glue gun and one of our clothespins. And we are going to start dotting glue and adding our pom-poms to the clothespin. So go ahead and do that now. We can add a dot. And then quickly put a pom-pom. And then you quickly want to put them on because this will harden in about three seconds or so. So you want to make sure that you get it on there before it dries. But if it does, that's okay. It does peel off and then you can re-stick it. Good job. Now I like to call this the three second rule. You may have heard of the five second rule. This is the three second rule and you've got to get your object into the glue before it becomes cold and not sticky. Very good. Are you guys getting lots of strings? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of stringy. That's, That's okay. okay. What do we do with them, Miss Susie? Well, you can just pull them off right at the end. It gets a little messy, but that's okay. We'll just pull them off. Okay, we're going to do the same thing to our second clothespin. We're going to go ahead and make a second caterpillar by putting our hot glue dots down the clothespin and we'll stick our um, little um, pom-poms on it. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, I think we're still making it through on our first one, Miss Susie. Okay, that's They're all right. They're doing great. Good job, you guys. And you get to pick whatever color you want. Who, have you guys seen caterpillars out in the wild? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what kind of colors have you seen? You guys remember? Black and yellow. Here we go. What have you seen, Jasmine? Black and yellow. Black and yellow ones. Okay. Orange and green. Oh, orange and green. Wow. These are some fun colors. Green and black. Oh, we've seen some green and black ones. Oh, be careful of the hot end there, Cadence. All right. Oh man, we love caterpillars. They can be so colorful. They They're can be, amazing. but you know, boys and girls, some of them you have to be careful to because some of them do have stinging hairs. So we want to be careful and get parents' permission first before touching them. Okay, when we have our second one made, we're going to go ahead and put on our googly eyes. We love googly eyes. They're great for many things. So what we need you to do now is Open up the clothespin, just so you know this is gonna be where the head is and where the eyes are. Okay, right here, we're gonna go ahead and put our eyes on this front pom-pom here where the clothespin opens up. All right, wanna make sure we have about four pom-poms or little cotton balls per each one. That seems to work out really well and you can pick whatever colors you want. Somehow, there we go. 
you can just go ahead and put three on. We can. Now I have a question. Do caterpillars stay caterpillars? No. No. Who knows what they turn into? Butterfly. Uh, let's get Christiana over here. I saw her hand up. Butterflies. Butterflies. And there's, there's another else. thing. What would that be? Oh, Abby, I saw her hand shoot up here. Okay, let's look in our... Chrysalis. Okay. They go into a chrysalis before they turn, but there is another animal. We have butterflies and I think I saw Noah's hand here. Here we go. Moths. 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 That's right. That's we right. have butterflies and moths. Very good. That start out as caterpillars. Okay, how are we doing, kids? Getting our eyes on. Are we getting our eyes on our caterpillars? Well, I have a question too. I really want to know what is a caterpillar. Can you guys, do you have a good description of what is a caterpillar? Does anybody know? How would you describe it? It's kind of like a worm with legs. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of have heard it was like a worm in a blanket. No, you ever heard that? Hey, Hannah, what do you think? It's a kind of like a worm that crawls on trees and eat leaves. Oh, that's right. And yeah. they're always so hungry. Are you guys ever hungry? Yes. yes. Caterpillars are always eating. They, they have to always. eat so much food every day. Oh no, it's gonna get me. Ah! All right. Does that one have eyes? Oh, that one had eyes on it. We're getting some of our eyes put on here. Great job, Cadence. I don't have eyes. No! You get to be a miracle worker and help them to see. All right. Get some googly eyes on there. Good job. Okay, boys I think and we're girls. We're doing great here with our googly eyes. The next step after we get our caterpillars assembled is we are going to draw a leaf. So you can use your green paper and we're going to draw a leaf here for these caterpillars to be able to sit on. You can make it as big or as small as you want, but since I have two caterpillars, I'm going to make mine kind of big. And then you can go ahead and cut that out with your scissors. You guys like using the glue guns? Yeah, I think this is a crafter's favorite tool. It's a bit dangerous. You should always try to have some, maybe some ice or something cold around in case you get, you know, you touch something hot there. Oh, wow, Kate's gonna get me with her, with her caterpillar there. Wow. Hey, do you guys know what kind of pillar Never needs holding up. What was that? A caterpillar. A caterpillar. A caterpillar. Very good. That's right. All right. Okay, kids, how are we how doing, are we doing on getting our leaves drawn and cut out? Are we getting okay. there? Okay. Oh, they're starting to draw their leaves. I, I think, think Abby has a question. Did you have Oh, you. Jessica? Wait. Since you keep giving out riddles, I thought I had one for you. Oh, they have one for me. Okay. What's the beginning of every little thing and the end of space of space and time? I don't know. What is it? The letter E. Ah, that's a great one. <laughs> you know, you can only do da dad jokes when you're all grown up. Oh. Okay? Grown. I meant the... All right. But I appreciate the jokes. And they help the time to go when we can talk and have fun with each other. That's why I like doing crafts. You guys are doing a great job of designing your caterpillars and your leaves. Boy, I wonder what God did when he was thinking about all of these things for you and me and all, all these creatures. He's a wonderful designer and creator. That's what inspires us. And these are nothing like the real thing. Good job, you guys can start Okay, and out. after we have our leaf cut out, we can go ahead and punch a couple of holes in it. And this way it looks like as our caterpillars are sitting on our leaf, it looks like they're eating it. Right, and we'll go ahead and show your hungry caterpillars. Yep, that's right. And we'll go ahead and we will attach mm -hmm. our caterpillars to our leaf. Just like this. Yeah, we can do that later if you want. Let us go ahead and punch a few holes. There's another hole punch if you guys need it. You need a hole punch? Okay, great. We're getting holes. We're getting that's right. I see the veins. You guys are drawing leaves really realistically. Oh, you might need a little bigger leaf here so you can get two hungry caterpillars in it, eating on it at the same time. Wow. Caterpillars are like kids. Man, they got to be fed all the time. 
Who would oh, like to I... name their caterpillar? Oh. Oh, how about we go around and see who would like to name their caterpillar? You got it. Christiana, do you have a name no. for your caterpillar? No. Not yet. Okay, yeah. be thinking of one. Carter, do you have one? Oh, okay. Be thinking of a name, you guys. We want to go around and see if you can come up with a name. Oh, Cadence has one. What do you have? I only know one of my caterpillars named Color. He's going to name it Color? Okay, oh. we can color the caterpillar. And why is that, Cadence? Because my caterpillar is very colorful. They are That's very colorful, aren't they? That's yeah. right. Kate, do you have, do you have a name for your caterpillar? I don't know how to spell it, but this one's name is Kiwi. Kiwi. I like that. How about you, Anoa? Um, I haven't made one yet. You have, did you come up with a name? Oh, man, this is the fun part. When you're creating little creatures, you got to give them names. Wow. Oh, all right, Jasmine. I only have one, a name for one of them, and it's Pink Top because I, little, I put a little pink hat on it. All right, Pink Top. All right, Hannah. I have one name for my caterpillar, and it's called Rainbow. Rainbow. Excellent. Angel, do you have a name for your caterpillar? Uh, I don't know. Okay, I don't know. That's a great name. I sometimes call my kids that. Who are you? I don't know. <laughs> and all three of you get here. All right, my Jasmine's other caterpillar's name. name is Googly Eye. Googly Eye. Googly Eye. Those are good ones. Remember, all right, Abby up front here. It's got a name, and then we'll we'll get the bed next. You guys are coming up with some fun names. I named one Cata and one Brock. What was the name again? Cata and Brock. Cata and Very Brock. Nice. Okay. Yeah. We get some. All right, now we're coming back here. Go ahead, uh, Christiana. Um. I named, I've only thought of one, and Sherbert for Sherbert ice cream. Oh. <laughs> What's on your mind right now? <laughs> Frank and Georgie. Frank and Georgie. Nice, Ben. Yeah. Good practical names there. Uh, um, Carter? One of mine is Speedy. Speedy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's good. That's right. Give them a fast name for these little slow munching guys here. I'm calling mine Sunset. Oh, Sunset. Thanks, Hannah. That's great. These are some very creative names. Love I names. love it. Yes. I think I'm going to name mine Cat and Pillar. Oh, there you go. Oh, you were thinking of that too, Cadence? <laughs> wow, these are fun. And what kind of things can we do with these caterpillars? I mean, it's fun to have them sit there, but can you think of some uses for these? Oh, what do you got? Okay, Hannah. Maybe race races. Oh, you could do like little races with them? Oh, that's a great idea. What about you, Angel? What can we do with these caterpillars? Um, what are they? What are they? they you can pens. Oh, okay. You can uh, pin things or, or use them for that. Okay. If you need to explain something about the caterpillar you could use it as a as an example example oh these are great things but we're kind of running out of time here and we'll keep thinking of other uses now boys and girls remember you can go to our website 3 avnkidscampt.tv to have the instructions and all the supplies thank you for joining us here on creation cross where scripture inspires creativity you guys are doing great yeah you can practice some other things